Zay Li Zhang and uh, Joe Joyce getting it on. This one's uh, close to even for the people at my bookie. We'll get into the prediction, but I just want to read the line to you because it's rare that we see a heavyweight fight where the line is so tight. We got Zhang at minus 123, Joe Joyce minus 112, and the over under 10 and a half rounds. Under minus 26, over minus 108. That's as close to even as a fight gets. Um, this is an intriguing fight. Uh, I'm looking forward to this. The heavyweights, you know, these these are two of the better heavyweights. So what are you thinking here? What are you looking for? Who do you like? Et cetera, et cetera. Well, first of all, um, it's a rematch. And in the first fight, I tell you, they really sell. Well, it's at Wembley, right? Yep. Um Boy, they sell. Boy, those. I, when I die, I, I said it before, I said it again. I want to come back as a British promoter. Really. <laughs> because, really, they, those fans over there, I love you. My brothers and sisters across the pond. You guys are the greatest. And you make promoters rich because you come out for every darn fight. Uh, your guys. You, you back your guys. You back your guys. And it's great. It's brilliant. Here's the first thing that catches you. That since you brought up the lines, I don't know if you have it in front of you, but I I know the neighborhood because my son told me. In the first fight, Joyce was like minus twelve hundred, or maybe it was even more. Yeah. And Joyce was plus six hundred. So, wow, how far they've come, <laughs> or how far they've dropped, because what a change, what a turnaround you need to start there to know Zhang the first they gave him no chance you talk about changing your position in life I mean you this was like the movie with the great Eddie Murphy and Dan Aykroyd changing places I mean it's like that movie I mean Zhang just changed places with Joyce Joyce was the huge favorite Joyce was the guy, you know, everybody was getting ready for the world title fight back in, you know, silver medalist from the Olympics. Actually, both guys are silver medalists from the Olympics. They both are. Uh, but Joyce was the guy going to make all the big money over there in London, everything else. And Zhang, Zhang them. He Zhang them. He, he put himself in his position now. Now he's got to do it one more time. Zhang stopped Joyce in the first fight. Uh, he closed his eye. The referee stopped it. He he was winning the fight big, punching the heck out of him. Joyce is not hard to find, you know, really not hard. You turn the lights out and you still hit him. You could put him in a dark room and you still hit him. I mean, uh, you know, the late, great Mickey Duff. And see, when people have great sayings, if they're mine, they're mine. But when other people have them, I credit them. I don't make believe they're mine. Anyway, I, I, I digress. It's a great Mickey Duff, one of the great boxing people ever. Ever. Great promoters, ever. Great boxing minds, ever. <laughs> and he's from across the pond. Um, as he used to say, Joyce gets insulted if you miss him. Uh, or another great saying he had, Teddy... It's harder to miss this guy than it is to hit him. So Joyce gets hit a lot. I guess you get the point. Joyce gets hit a lot. And as I got close, they stopped the fight. What I want to say is, in breaking this down for the fans who want to bet on it or think about bet or just want to enjoy it more by understanding more about the two fighters, whatever. And if you're going to my bookie, you're not going to my bookie. Like I said, you're just going to get a cold one. You're going to sit back. You're going to enjoy the fights. I want to give you as much help as possible, as much info as possible to handicap the fight in, in your mind of who you think and why they should win. Joyce, Zhang is 40 years old. Joyce is 37, 38. But Joyce has more miles on the odometer. I always say you don't judge somebody's age in boxing chronologically. You judge it by the amount of punches they've taken. The amount of punishment that they've taken. And in that way, Joyce is the older fighter here. 
you just can't get hit that much. I know he has an iron chin. And I know that he was catching up to to everybody. Parker, you know, some, some decent fighters. Uh, he was catching up to everybody. And he could punch even though he's slow, even though he's cement-footed, he's predictable. He had a great chin, great heart, and, and he could punch. And when he finally got to you, up until the Zhang fight, he usually got rid of you. But he took a lot of punishment to get there. And that punishment has a toll. It, it, it has a toll. And I think it's taken its toll. He looked like a shot fighter in his last fight. Now look, there can always be mitigating circumstances. I'm not there. I'm not in his camp. Maybe he got sick. Really? Maybe maybe something happened where he didn't have a good camp. Mitigating circumstances. Maybe. Maybe. And if that's the case, maybe he wins this time. But without having that information to explain why he looks so horrendous, other than the fact that he never got taught right to actually elude a punch rather than eat a punch. The, nobody ever really, he never had a teacher in his life in a boxing world to teach him what they should have taught him. And it might be too late now. But if he's that same guy who's going to rely just on being tough, just on weathering the storm, just on walking through punches, and finally landing a big one. If he's gonna, if that's it, a, I think he's probably less than he was the last time, because every time you get in that ring and you take punishment, you leave the ring with less of yourself. So he might even be less, unless again, he was sick, so he had the flu. There, there's some explanation for why he did, he looked as bad as he did. But that aside. Could he land a punch on Zhang's chin? Yeah. I remember Zhang uh, getting, you know, I've seen him get hurt before uh, in fights. But Zhang has one loss, one draw. He His one loss, I thought he could have got the decision. I really thought he won. It was to the guy Hervoff. What do you, I don't know how to pronounce his name. But he's highly rated. Her, her, Hergov, Hergov, H. Oh, Hergovich. Oh, uh, yeah. If that's, that's how it, you Hergovich. pronounce it, the heavyweight, he, uh, the Croatian. Yeah, yeah. Uh, very, yeah, very, very highly rated, undefeated. I don't think that much of him, to be honest, but highly rated. And Zhang lost a, a decision to him, which I, like I said, I thought he should have got it, and he also has a draw. But at the end of the day. For those out there that want to hear my pick, how could I not, after breaking it down thoroughly the way I did, how could I not go with Zhang again? If anything, he got more confidence after winning the first time. And unless he gets really careless, he's a big, big guy. He uses his height pretty well. You know, he's not impossible to hit either. But unless, you know... Joyce is a lot better than he was last time and a lot more invigorated, replenished because he looked like a shot guy. So unless that happens and Joyce can get close enough to land two or three on the chin, that big chin, that tall chin of Zhang, I'm, I'm going with Zhang again. I don't know if he'll stop him again he stopped him by closing his eye last time. I don't know that if he'll do that again. But just with his jab, just with his reach, just with his size that he knows how to use fairly well. I mean, he's not going to make you forget any of the heavyweight greats, Zhang. You know, he ain't making you forget, you know, uh, Joe Lewis or Ali or anything. But he's a big guy, you know. Like a Primo Canero, uh, who was a heavyweight champ for a few minutes back in the 30s, 40s, whatever. Max Bear, but Max Bear could punch like hell with the right hand. But Max Bear was a big sort of lumbering guy, if you will, a little bit. Um, but Zhang actually 
looks like Fred Astaire, even though he's not a guy quick on his feet. But he looks like Fred Astaire compared to Joyce. I mean, jo Joyce is is that big bad that just, you know, comes out kind of like Muhammad Ali when he was making fun of, uh, uh, what was it, Sonny List. And he made fun of everybody, all his opponents. He gave them all nicknames. And he promote. he was the greatest promoter ever, you know. And he would... He would give them nicknames, you know. He gave Floyd Patterson a rabbit. Uh, he gave Sonny Liston a bear. He gave George Foreman, I think it was, the mummy. Who who did he name the mummy? But when when he used to, I don't when he that used one. to say, yeah, when he used to say what to look forward to, like if if he was fighting the bear or the mummy, he would say, he's gonna come in like this. Ooh, 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 ooh. How's a guy like that going to hit me? How's a guy like that going to beat me? And um, Joyce, if Ali was around, uh, Joyce was around with Ali, Ali would have caught him one of those. Uh, whether it was the mummy or would have made a new one, the zombie, whatever. But he would have been saying it for those reasons. Joyce is slow on his feet, um, you know, cement-footed. You know, he's just, uh, he's a guy that drags his feet, comes at you slowly, but he's a tough guy. He's a big guy. He's always been a good puncher, always had a great chin. I don't know what's left of him, but we'll find out. We'll find out. It should be interesting. It should be interesting.